subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Bottlenose Dolphin. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. Look at all these fishes. That one over there is a goldfish. I'll try to catch it. Don't worry, Hero. I'll put it back later. There, I got it. So this is a goldfish. It's a very popular fish to keep as a pet. Okay, Hero, I'll put the goldfish back in the water now. Here goes. Whoa! It's a baby dolphin. It just ate the goldfish. I wonder how the dolphin got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now look here, baby dolphin. Hi, Katie. What did you find? Hi, Leo. Almost there. This dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. A bottlenose dolphin? Yes, a bottlenose. There are many types of dolphins, but the bottlenose dolphin is the best known. These dolphins can be found in warm and temperate seas worldwide. Dolphins have large brains and they are very intelligent. I see. By the way, this baby dolphin ate a goldfish from our pond. Hmm. Normally dolphins eat small fish and other small sea creatures, but this dolphin is still very young, so it might still need milk from its mother. Dolphins stay with their mothers for several years. Hmm, I guess it must be hungry then. We should bring it home back to its mother. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. We may be able to find the dolphin's mother here. <laughs> you must be excited to see the ocean again. Oh, look! A boat! <laughs> look! I think Baby Dolphin wants to play with the waves created by the boat. Correct! That's because bottlenose dolphins like to surf and ride on waves produced by boats or big animals. Be careful, Junior Rangers. There might be fishing boats that come out to sea to hunt for dolphins. Oh no! It looks like the boat is really going after the dolphin. The baby dolphin isn't fast enough to escape. We need to save her. <laughs> Watch out! The fishing boat has a weapon. They're aiming at you, dolphin. Whoops! Careful, Dolphin! You almost got hit! Ranger Rocky! That was close! Children, hurry and escape with the Dolphin while I confront the fishing boat! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's hurry and find the Dolphin's mother where it can be safe! Hmm, so where should we go now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the mother of the bottlenose dolphin, just look far into the sea. Not into a tree or a cup of tea, but look far into the sea. I see. So not into a tree or a cup of tea, but, but look, look far into, into the, the sea. sea. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mother of the bottlenose dolphin, you have to look far into the sea. Good luck! Hero, there 
there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby dolphin's mother. Hero, look far into the sea. Hmm, what is that? That is a school of fish. So let's look somewhere else. Wow, what are those? Yes, I think those are jellyfish. Let's continue. Can you see what that is? That's right. It's a bottlenose dolphin. It might be the mother. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the baby dolphin's mother. Hooray! Yay! found a baby dolphin in our pond today. We learned that the dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. So we went to the sea and found its mother so it can be safe again. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The pygmy hippo. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. 
Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Neil. The jeep is here. Okay, Pygmy Hippo, it's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, Hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working! The Pygmy Hippo is out! Hooray! Yay! What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Remember, pygmy hippos usually prefer to live alone. So if you want to find a home for the pygmy hippo, just look for an empty spot in a swamp. Not for a gas pump or a camel's hump, but look for an empty spot in a swamp. I see. So not for a gas pump or a camel's hump, but, but look, look for, for an, an empty, empty spot, spot in, in a swamp. swamp. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the pygmy hippo, you have to look for an empty spot in the swamp. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty swamp. Is that an empty swamp? No, it's not. Those are crocodiles. So let's look somewhere else. What are those? They are also pygmy hippos. Maybe it's a mother and her baby. I think they prefer to be left alone. So let's continue. So is this an empty swamp? Yes, it is an empty swamp. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo! Hooray! Yay! We found a pygmy hippo in our garden! We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reindeer. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our Frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, 
Reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. The reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no! What ah. can we ah. do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Ah. Ah. Oh no! The water is moving too strong here. Close. You saved its life, uh. hero. <laughs> hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the young reindeer's herd, just look for a grassland near a hill, not for an abandoned mill or a beefsteak on a grill. But look for a grassland near a hill. I see. So not for an abandoned mill or a beefsteak on a grill, but, but look, look for, for a grassland grass near, near a hill. hill. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the young reindeer's herd, you have to look for a grassland near a hill. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a grassland near a hill. What's that? It's a stream with fish in it. So let's continue. Is this a grassland near a hill? Hmm, no. It's a village near a hill. Let's move on. How about here? Is this a grassland near a hill? Yes, it is. And there is the reindeer's herd. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, that reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it. We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast 
and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators, but sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. Everyone, we're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? <laughs> ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run! Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper! Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the Jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the Jeep. Oh, no. Something's coming. Hero! Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. 
What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the Mother Taper, just look for the colors black and white. Not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but look for the colors black and white. I see. So not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but, but look, look for, for the, the colors, colors black, black and white. white. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the baby Taper's mother, you have to look for the colors black and white. Good luck. Okay, Hero. There are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be the mother of the baby Taper. Is that the baby Taper's mother? Hmm, that's a rock. Let's continue. Can you see what's in the water? That's right. Those are otters in the water. So let's look somewhere else. What's that? Is that black and white? Yes, it is. Hey, it's moving. It's the mother taper. Great work, hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found the baby taper's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> <laughs>